Welcome back. It seems like everywhere you look, a new condo or a new development is going up around the city. What you might not know is that developers are working with archaeologists to bridge the gap between our city's present and past. Our Kimberly Gale takes us to one major dig near Bathurst and Lakeshore. Toronto's future gets built while its past gets uncovered. This empty lot will soon become a luxury condo, but not before its history is recorded. We knew that it was here and we were looking forward to uh, seeing exactly what it was and what state it was in. It's the remnants of a Grand Trunk Railway engine house built in the 1850s. One of thousands of mid to late 19th century sites mapped out in this city. So if a proposed development falls anywhere within the pink zone, an archaeological assessment must take place. City Council approved of a new system for screening developments in 2005. It means archaeological sites, like the one that used to be under the Bell light box, are well assessed. The ground where this theatre now stands was First York General Hospital in 1819. The artifacts uncovered now have a permanent home inside the building. But until this last decade, Toronto's archaeological stories weren't told very well, something Heritage Toronto works to protect. So we don't know how much of our history has gone out in garbage bins and into landfill. Uh, it's a lot. Ron Williamson is the archaeologist on many of Toronto's excavations. He also helped devise the city's archaeological plan. Nothing uncovered so far has been deemed sacred enough to completely halt development. If we were to find a site that dated to, let's say, 11,000 years ago by the very first occupants of the area, that would be a site that people would think very seriously about. As for this developer, archaeology is scheduled into production, as are plans to honour the past. Part of our site will house the future Martha the Creek Park, um, and there's been talk about using some of these materials in the park uh, to sort of tell the story of the engine house. As the city grows, so too will the telling of our history. Kimberly Gale, CBC News, Toronto.